We're sad to report tonight that the venerable New York Post newspaper crossed the line this week. They wrote a story revealing that one of the founders of the sacred BLM movement has in fact spent millions of dollars on four high-end homes just in the United States. And that's not allowed. Embarrassing the leader of BLM just for being greedy? Please stop, New York Post. That was Facebook's position. Facebook is now blocking the New York Post reporting. We just tried to share it on Facebook and we got a message. You can't share this link because it goes against our community standards. Those standards include flacking for every left-wing activist group in America. We asked Facebook and they gave us this statement, quote, this content was removed for violating our privacy and personal information policies. <laughs> By the way, pictures of the BLM houses were everywhere. Real estate blogs wrote about them. They're not blocked. Facebook said the story could help people identify the BLM founder's personal residence, right? We can promise you they don't extend that courtesy to others in the public eye. In recent days, Twitter has also censored posts from the founder of Project Veritas, James O'Keefe, and a frequent guest on this program, shockingly, Jason Whitlock. So the censorship is just intensifying. Is anyone noticing this or doing anything about it? Ned Ryan notices. He's the CEO of American Majority. He joins us tonight. Ned, so they've, they silenced Trump when he was still president. Like, you know, Trump's not allowed to talk, uh, still. But they didn't stop there. It turns out they, like, silenced everyone, not just who voted for Trump, but anyone who in any way goes against the, the regime orthodoxy. When does this end, if ever? Uh, when Republicans and conservatives get righteous on this issue, and a lot of them are conflicted yeah. on it, Tucker. I mean, you look back at the 2020 elections when Republican House leadership is taking maxed out contributions from Google, but even more so members of the House uh, Freedom Caucus are taking maxed out contributions from Google. Conservative organizations in D.C. are taking money from the tech giants to promote and, and run the party line for the tech companies until we change, until we say no more. And it really is. It's a litmus test for me now, Tucker. Do you renounce Satan and all of his evil works? Do you renounce big tech and all of their evil works, their censorship, their, their meddling in the free flow of information? Quite frankly, they're meddling in free and fair elections with Zuckerberg Center for Tech and Civic Life. Until Republicans and conservatives can get it in their heads that when monopolies dominate a marketplace, you don't have free market capitalism. We have to break monopolies. It's actually Republican tradition. And also stop mistaking corporatism for capitalism. When you have these big corporations right. that are working hand in glove with big government, that's not capitalism. That's that's big crony capital, uh, corporatism. And it's doing working on behalf of big government. Quite frankly, Democrats and establishment Republicans love this. Tucker, you know why? They don't have to shred the Bill of Rights into a full frontal assault upon our basic human rights. They can step out of the way and let the, the woke corporations do their dirty work for them as libertarians and others are going, oh, we can't touch them because they're private corporations. Absurd and ridiculous. So everyone in the country is watching this and this is discrediting market capitalism because it's not actually market capitalism. It's monopoly That's right. capitalism. It's crushing people. That's right. So when we get socialism in a couple of years and just totally wreck the country, will anyone be honest enough to acknowledge this is why? Well, this is the problem. I mean, this is why Republicans and conservatives need to get righteous and understand the difference between the corporatism and capitalism, because people do conflate them and they're going to look at this behavior and say, well, th this, this is capitalism. I will say this, the right approach to this, Tucker, is going to take place at the state level when 26 other Republican governors do the exact same thing that Ron DeSantis is doing and taking a strong stance right. on big tech. We'll see reform at the state level probably first before anything in D.C. Crush these people immediately. I agree. That's completely. right. Ned, thank you so much.